Hey, what's up? So I'm a diver. I love the ocean. I'm mainly into free diving. I've been certified in scuba, but with free diving, it's just you, your body, one breath, the ocean, and God. And recently, I did a shore dive off the coast of South Florida, where I swam a few hundred yards out. And there were these great trigger fish, maybe 10, 12 inches long, coming up to me. I guess they got their territories, so I was trying to take some pics with them. Suddenly, out of the corner, this 10 to 12 foot long great hammerhead shark just slices through. I never even knew he was there. It was almost like watching a surveillance tape. You see him coming into the frame, and he comes up, and then he slows, and then he starts to turn. You can even see his tail curving, and he comes up right behind me. Almost, must have been right behind my fins, and he pauses. And then he's gone. What was he thinking? What was he doing back there? Actually, it's something I've dreamed about and feared my whole life. <laughs> I even got a few frame grabs, a few self picks uh, with him, uh, thinking that I'm taking a pick with these. Uh, trigger fish and meanwhile it's a big ass hammerhead shark. I have this thing about body intimacy, body integrity. You know if he had come for me, really lit into me, I would have fought him but I wouldn't have faulted him. It was just uh, me and him, that shark, he was, that shark was just doing him. It was him and me and me and him in that ocean. You know, my flesh should be inside his body, definitely. I've been thinking about him swimming around in the ocean, somewhere out there. You know, hammerheads are migratory. And wherever he is, uh, I kind of feel like my body is with his, like we out there together now, swimming. People kill 100 million sharks a year. The sharks have been around 400 million years. On my way back, I ran into my first sea turtle, a young one. And she had some piece of trash or something wrapped around her lower left leg. Actually, I couldn't even see her leg, so maybe the trash had already amputated her leg. But as uh, I swam over to check her out, at least say hello, say what's up, she took off. Maybe she thought it was a shark. You know, there's that rhythm, that rhythm out there in the ocean that you become part of. One thing about being out in the ocean, out in the water, is it's not a reflective kind of place. At least for people. You don't think about your problems or life stuff or things like that. You're just present. You act, react, and absorb. So if uh, it had gone too far, if he had really lit into me and that was that, I would have probably been cool with it because uh, when you're out there, uh, that's what you're doing right then, right now. Whatever you're doing is uh, where you're at. And um, everything else back on land kind of feels like the past. <laughs>